Hey guys, in this video I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you how you can utilize the Align tool in Tinkercad. And in some previous videos we were moving things around and trying to align things uh, by sight or maybe by nudging them with the mouse or the keyboard and the arrow keys, but uh, Tinkercad provides us with a great align tool, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of how that actually works. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, let's see, we're going to bring in a box here. Okay, so let's bring in a box. I'm going to make it real big. And let's say I wanted to like just make like a hole in there, make a hole in there, so that maybe it's a container that I can um, I can put things in. So what I could do is I could bring around another box. This is actually just a shortcut for a box. It's a hole. You could recreate that yourself and make the hole a uh, make the box a hole. Um, but what I want to do is I want to actually kind of put that in the middle somewhere, right? So I'm going to drag that out. Now what I could do is I could eyeball this and then I could use the arrow keys to kind of uh, make that look pretty good. And that actually does look pretty good. Um, but if I wanted to make sure that everything was centered there, what I can do is use the align tool. Now to align a couple different objects, what you want to do is you want to select everything that you want to align. So I'm going to select everything here. And then you'll notice up here on the right hand side at the top there is a little uh, icon here which has got some bars with a little bar on the left. Uh, and it's called Align. Uh, you can see the keyboard shortcut is L. So if I click that, what Tinkercad is going to do is it's going to throw up on the screen these little dots. Um, attached to lines that are all around these shapes. And what this is going to help me do is to select the type of alignment that I want. So let's just explore that a little bit. So I'm just uh, rotating around a little bit. So let's take a look at these guys over here. So these guys over here, what they're going to allow me to do is uh, align the tool in this particular direction. So if I click this top one here, what it's going to do, you can see that the, the inner box moved up towards the top. So basically it's aligning all of their tops and in the same uh, space or the same area, right? So it's basically, if I looked at it this way, it's basically like left aligning everything, okay? And if I click this box, what it does is it right aligns everything. So it shoves everything over. Now it's really the bottom, but if I shift over, it's, it's on the right. You'll notice too that it's grayed out now, which means that if uh, the handles or the little circles are grayed out, that means it's already uh, aligned in that particular orientation. You can see here that I've got these three that are all gray. That means that um, they're all aligned vertically. Uh, and that's primarily because the boxes are the same shape or the same size. So let me actually make this hole a little bit bigger. Let's drag it up there. Okay. Now if I select everything and I click align, now you can see that the vertical circles are a little bit different. The bottom one is grayed because now they're both at the bottom. They're both on the work plane. But if I wanted to align them at their tops, what I could do is click this one and that will move the red one up so that it meets the top of the hole. If I wanted to align them in the center vertically, I could click that. All right. I actually want these at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I lost my bars. So I'll click L here and now I'm going to align them at the bottom. Okay, and now you can rotate around here. And what we want to now do is fix, uh, fixate that uh, hole in the center of that box. So uh, this one over here would be my left and my right as I'm facing it now. And we can see that that's grayed out. So that confirms for me that the hole is in the center looking from left to right. Um, and then over here, we see that we're actually aligned at the bottom with this one. So I'm going to click this one and that's going to move the hole to the center of the box that way. So now the center aligned here, center aligned here, and it is vertically um, aligned at the bottom. Very good. All right. And now all I need to do is I'm going to click off of that so that that's not selected anymore. I'm going to click this little hole. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. And now I'm going to group those together. And I made myself a nice little box. All right, hope you found that helpful. 